All right, welcome back to Let's Play Crusader Kings 2. Uh, last time we fought off a, well, a Catholic um, crusade. And that was the first crusade. And I think we have a truce with the Pope, wherever he is. And, uh, yeah. I don't have to worry about that for a while. Um, because you can only have holy wars within certain intervals. We haven't had a chance to clean up these borders yet. I'd rather wait until they were at odds before doing that. They're not as scary as they were before, but, you know, I'd rather things be as painless as possible. Uh, the Shirazids down here have taken over that little chunk of land that I originally gave away to my little monophysite rebel. Uh, and apparently... Because of this, the uh, the way the election rules work, uh, the Muslims are now in charge over here. So I can attack them later if I want to. Um, and we have our little sidekick here, Turkish Zoroastrian guys living in uh, Cernasia. So, er, I think that's how you pronounce that. The two caliphs are fighting over each other, and Spain. Again, has exploded. Who's this? Aziz the Conqueror, which ain't it, Lucia? Okay. Um. But whatever, that's not really of any uh, consequence to us. People have been asking me if I've uh, been trying to convert some of the Scandinavians, and the truth, and the truth is. People in Scandinavia? No. But, uh, Gardariki owned most of Norway at one point. So, um, or the whole thing. I don't know. Did they have the kingdom? No. But, uh, yeah, they, uh, so they were in Scandinavia, and the rest of it's Catholics, so I can't convert it. So, no dice there. And the stuff that is Norse is either owned by Gardariki or small B independent guys who aren't worth my time. Uh, and these guys turn me down, so. Well, it'd be cool to have the entire eastern part of the map be Zoroastrian. Uh, I don't know how soon we'll be able to pull that off. Um, disappointingly, Ruthenia didn't stay that way either, and Lithuania are giant bastards. So. In any case, um... Things are going to be pretty smooth sailing, uh, assuming we don't have a major revolt until the Mongols come. But uh, we're going to be slowly expanding, I think. Um, hey, you guys want to be my vassal? Nope. Um, if I really got his, his uh, relations up, they might. Maybe. I think he's fine like that right now. He's he's pretty safe. And I can join in any holy wars they want to take that from him. He he's cool he's cool how he is. So the original plan was to take the rest of Jerusalem because it makes my borders look acky. And uh at least enough of Anatolia to make me contiguous. And then you know, like this here and then the rest of Syria. And then at that point we can start uh, well, I don't know. Do we need to do what do we need to do religiously and culturally? Now, religiously, we're doing pretty well. Just a few pockets of of um, Islam left, and of course the the Orthodox stuff we're gonna have there. Um, and of course Islam is still pretty strong in Egypt and Africa. Um. And of course, orthodoxy in Greece is is, is slowly being uh, changed to Zoroastrian. Nestorian is a mirror. It's pretty strong for some reason. Um, partially because I've been having my Mobad off trying to convert the heathens and shit. So, yeah. And Zoroastrianism seems pretty strong up here, at least for now. Until the Mongols show up, and kill everybody. Uh, culturally, I'm not too worried about it, but Persian culture is spreading 
quickly. What, what culture is that? Oh, Italian. Yeah, the Amalfi guys are actually Greek, not Italian. Um, and I said something about them being Italian when they were asking me to join their war. I still, I, you know, the Italian stuff in Greece tends to get converted to Greek pretty quickly. But, uh, you don't know, they might actually be Italian. The trade mode, the trade guys. That's not what I'm looking for. No, they're actually Greek Orthodox. <laughs> Lord knows why they was would be, you know, Italian Catholics trying to help me during, trying to get me to help them during the Holy War. Whatever. We got some people fighting amongst each other. Um, max crown authority? I don't know about that. Um, I'll probably just keep it at high. I don't know what the converter does to shit like that, but um, is this a bug or something? No, he really does have it that high. Oh, because he keeps having feasts. I see. Yeah, because I thought his base was, was 20. 25, I mean. I should have feasts, man. I've been completely ignoring that crap. Let's have a feast. Feast. Because I've had, had much more important things to worry about. The conjurer produced a rabbit from his hat and then made a, kerchief, a handkerchief change color from brown to red and then he simply vanished from the room. Only to knock on the door and open it a few seconds later. He must perform at my feast or nothing but simple tricks. That's a lot of money. Whatever. Magic is fun. <laughs> How does my guy that I imprisoned and let go? He, he likes me. But he was talking about musicians, and I finally had some time off from the preparations for my, fe my feast so I could see with my own eyes and hear with my own ears what people were talking about. The music musicians were good, and they were looking for a patron. That's too much gold. No. Lose prestige. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. Blah, blah, blah. I must purchase venison, boar, and duck spices, wine and ale. Honey for the desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or peacock. Do Persian people eat pe eat things like that? I don't know. Um, let's be moderate about this. Pretty moderate, bro. And invite everybody. And they're all gonna get drunk and die. Whoa! Hey. Oh, okay. Let me stay here for now until I see what they're doing. Welcome to my feast. The guests have finally arrived. All is ready. The cooks have worked day and night preparing the food, and the castle has never looked lovelier. Come on. Urgabida uh, Jahan spoke up and told everyone how great the food at my feast was. I was really glad someone was kind enough to say something about, nice about the food, given how hard I worked to ensure the food was the best part of the feast. I did the moderate option. Well spoken. Spoken. Thank you. Everybody drank and were happy, except Mayor Manuchir. We refuse more wine. The insulting gesture means that he does not appreciate my hospitality. What a jerk. <laughs> Mayor Danish cut the throat of one of my servants when the clumsy man spilled wine all over his garbs. You guys are jerks. No. Go to jail. So my guest does not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Herbad Bavok said a lot of nasty stuff about the food, and I couldn't help but feel irritated. How dare you! No! That's why I don't have feasts. Yeah, plotting because of my feast. Jerks. Yeah. No. Oh. Dicks. But now I have the bonus. Oh no! Stop getting smallpox, kid. Ooh. Um. I thought I had a different picture. Can I send you off to a place? I probably can. <laughs> Does that work? Can you, like, send him off to a place and spread smallpox around? Hmm. Hey, that's good. Should have more feasts. Oh no. We're about to die. Probably. It's fine. See, yeah, that's probably why they haven't um, stupid fair elections. 
Who oh, knows? Jerks. Two revolts. Right next to each other. No. Yes. No, don't do that. Okay. I keep looking at that, but it's always the Duchy of Thrace. <laughs> I don't think so. Bloop. Yay, Zoroastrians. Who are you, peasants? Well, I guess they wouldn't be, uh... I was looking to see if he was, um... Christian. But I guess they wouldn't be. Would they? Nope. He's not having any things with the Zoroastrians. Oh, hey. Old Wound is finally healed, leaving a pretty grotesque scar behind. Yeah, I think you mean awesome scar. Any of our guys have ended up scarred. No. Scarred. Uh, I don't know if this was actually, like, one of my kings that I was controlling. No, because here's Nard. So, like, not all of them. I don't know. There haven't even been that many emperors, have there? I guess not. But whatever. Hey. Wait a minute. Do I still have my dude over here? He's in Torzok. Yeah. Um. Let's raise our relations with. So. Oh. Um. Lithuania, I guess. Aha! My liege, I bring good news. Thanks to my efforts, King Sorkver has seen the light and converted to the true faith. I shall return to your court forthwith, as my work is done here. Signed, Herbad Kokodad of, F of Ferris. Another heathen converted. And he becomes Zoroastrian. And I gain 200 piety. Sweet. Brilliant strategist. Um, this is my daughter. How old is my son? She will, I will save her for him, I think, maybe. Uh, because the stats still matter for marrying to your, how old is he? Uh, and he's, he's a restaurant already. See if we can't uh, make up some stuff. Thirteen. No, actually, her would be better, just in case we accidentally have a kid. Uh, no. Political concerns. Doesn't like the age too much. All right. Uh, so there is any. Other options here? No. What about for other kids? You got brothers or anything? Oh no. That's. That ain't gonna fly. Maybe they'll intermarry with Perm. That'd be cool. Okay, what is my current situation? 
about truces. The Caliph. So I can go after the Sherazids again. Um, I don't see any particular reason to do so right now. What is the deal with Nubia? Is Christian. Okay. Uh, because I would take this and then I'd have to keep it. And then it's probably going to get converted to Zoroastrian unless I keep it personally. Or I give it away. If I give it away, I can't attack any of the rest of it. So... I don't know. Plus, it would take a long time to get the rest of it since I don't have the stuff down here. But I have to, like, move very slowly down. So I think I'm just going to ignore it for now. Um... And the Byzantines aren't... No, they're doing something. They are doing something. Okay. Well, goody, goody gun drops then. Okay, so let's. What do we got here? Um. This is Galilee, and this is Jerusalem. And this is. Uh, what's it called? Antioch. Yeah, that's Antioch. Galilee. And Jerusalem. I know for a fact that Jerusalem. Um, requires you to be Christian to create the kingdom. Uh, which theoretically wouldn't be a problem if I had set up a Christian over here, had him create the kingdom, and then force converted him. But, uh, you know, that's no big deal. People are wondering why there's a cross on here. I don't know. It's the standard, it's the standard uh, flag for Syria. I have no idea why it... Uh, because I think the the Muslims just use standard family flags instead of using special ones. Because, like, this is not what the Arabian flag looks like. So I guess it's just a kind of uh, standardization. Uh, except that's the Empire. Maybe the Empire might look different. Uh, I, guess it, I guess it is what it looks like. Okay. Maybe that's why I got that impression. Whatevs. So, uh, there's no kingdom to be had over here, but we can just add it to our merchant republic, if we were want to do so. Um, or instead just keep it as uh, an, an independent duchy. I think, though, um, that it'd be best to get Jerusalem first. Because, well, actually, getting Galilee, because I already have a... a a county with two provinces in Galilee. They're, this and this are both three provinces. This they're going to fight harder over, I think. But they're both holy sites for um, Orthodox. So it's not like... But they'll fight harder over this, I think, because it has more... I don't know. I don't know why I think that. So this would give me better... This would be e easier from a vassal perspective. I could just give two provinces to this guy and make him the duke. And everything's done. Um, this I could just give to them. And this I would have to make a brand new one. Um, and all of them have a similar problem of leaving... Like, this has the least, I guess, ugly border here. Because it's contiguous and everything and if I take this it has this speck of land in here which actually might make it revolt faster um, or wait a minute no it doesn't it's just because um, it's like this Jerusalem's like that okay do I already have a part of Jerusalem no so so I guess there's no border issue with them. Alright, uh, just for the sake of expediency, I only have to take two provinces to end the war, basically. I'll go after Galilee. Um, 
each of them are gonna have to have a war unto themselves, so it doesn't matter. Alright. And I'm still ill. But let's see if uh, warfare will um, help things. Let's go ahead and do this, just in case. Okay. We had an election. Great eminence. And a Midas touched. Hey, she's great. Well, with exception of arbitrary and gluttonous, but whatever. We'll figure out what to do with them here in a minute. Actually, I should figure out what to do with them now. What? Extra dudes. What the crap is going on here? Um. Do you want to end the war? <laughs> what? <laughs> um, I guess? What was the deal with that? Whatever. <laughs> that was fast. Cool. Honestly, don't know what they plan on doing with this, but. I know what they plan on doing. Losing. Hey, he's converting dudes. Sweet. How else is he doing? Converting. Still got some guys. Ironically, the ones in Scandinavia converted first. That is not what I would expect. That is why it's ironic. The joke. I explained it. Oh, there they are. There's the Byzantines. No, that's not what they're called. Yes. Imprison all those jokers. One guest arrives. My son Xerxes is the first to greet them and shower them with questions. Of course, I'm gonna do that. Here's him a bonus to his stats. Why wouldn't we? No, no. I've got the pneumonia. There we go. Get him. Sean Shah Vonda the third fell asleep at age 47. He died of pneumonia. Long live Shan Shah Vandad the Fourth of Awesome Sauce Land. Okay. We need to be educated by someone awesome. Um Yeah, the guy who wanted to take our stuff. There we go. Okay. Uh brothers. I have brothers, right? I have one named Xerxes, you just got a good trait. Alright. What's that honky doing there? I don't know. Yes. Brothers. There we go. Um, eventually I'll give away Grease. But right now, uh, he's going to May 20th. Okay. And Captain Backup Plan is going to get the same guy. Seventh, June nineteenth. We got him. They're even gonna end up there on the same day. Ah. 
Oh, come on. Peasants, stop being such bitches. I wonder none of the nobles like you. Y'all are bitches. Oh, shit. That's actually not that scary. <laughs> now that I think about it, 24,000 is not that much. If I'm honest. Yeah, look at that. We got plenty of dudes. Okay. So let's go down here. What religion are you be? Bedouin? That's not a religion. Oh crap! African Liberation Revolt. Uh, offer to join war? I can't because I'm at war. I could just like raise my troops and walk in there though. Hey buddy. <laughs> Let's do it that way. Fuck it. Whatever. the issue here? What? Oh, because this is owned by Arabia. I see. Come on, fancy bros. I'm gonna stay here in Bustat. I mean, Cairo. That might be a culture thing. I don't actually know. Oh, oh. Let's make sure we have some leaders here. First, yeah, we got him. No big deal. Yeah, you dead. <laughs> you stay here. Go siege some stuff. Wait, hang on. No, these guys need to be here. Yeah, catch those guys. Okay, you go see your place. No place in particular.